Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and welcome to another hair refresher video. Uh, I had my hair like this for about two weeks now. Um, not in this exact form, but this exact hairstyle. It's been probably two and a half weeks. I washed and redo it. And all I do is split my hair in half and do two big jumbo twists. And I have been loving it. It's been super protective. I'm seeing less breakage. And I'm just going to attempt to show y'all my routine when I refresh these and show you, I'm trying a different product actually. Um, it's been sitting on my shelf in the closet with my other products. And I'm just like, hold up. I probably can just use this as a refresher. Because what I've been doing is if I leave the house, I put like an edge control or something around my edges. If I'm not going anywhere like today, then I would just refresh my hair with a moisturizer. No, it is getting warmer and hotter and I've been sweating and doing, ah, woo, sorry. Oh, that felt so good. But anyway, that's my hair. All right, so let me give me a little water. I have been sweating, exercising, walking, running, playing basketball with my kids. So I've been washing my hair a little bit more and I've been refreshing a little bit more. And I've been trying not to put as much product on my hair, um, you know, for the sake of building up and, you know, having to even wash my hair even more. But anyway, I'm trying to keep um, a balance of showing you guys my in-between hair and not just like, okay, this is wash day or whatever. But this is literally in between a wash. Like I wash my hair... last Friday and this is Thursday I think I think that's when I did it well last Saturday I washed my hair no that's what I was trying to think um I actually washed my hair on Sunday right right before church and it was interesting because I've been doing my hair in a very different way where it is completely less stressful and you can get it done in a timely manner and you're not cheating and robbing your hair of its full potential or really taking care of your hair. Um, so I will talk about that in another video, but excuse my knob, y'all. Y'all know I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I try to keep up with it, but as a stay-at-home mom, things get bumped down, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway. All right. So that's my hair. Uh, damp. Semi-damp. You know. Um, and what I do with my refreshing. I feel like this middle is not. Ah. Let me do that. Separate. Add a little bit more water. All right. So this product has literally been collecting dust. As you can see on the top. This is the Camille Rose Almond Jai Twisting Butter, Sweet Almond and Milk Honey um, design and created to, um, oh, is it any good? It's kind of browning. Oh, I guess it's the top layer. But um, I was like, look, this product needs to be used up and I'm going to use it up. Even if I'm just using it for something like this. As a matter of fact, I was um, inspired by another YouTuber a long time ago. Um, she used a lot of her products like this to refresh her hair or use as um, like pre-poos. And I said, that's a good idea because at the end of the day, it's stuff that you trust on your hair anyway. And it's good products. You're just using it slightly differently. But I figured, hey, I do do jumbo twists. Like I'm not doing the plaits. And I stopped doing the plaits because they were a pain to take out. Um, but they do last longer than a twist. Oh my goodness. They last longer than a twist. Like, I feel like I have to redo my twist every day, but, um, just get some more. And I'm using a lot too, cause this is real soft and real light. So I feel like I can actually do this. And like I said, products do expire. So I'm trying my best to use up as much as I can in my stash without having to just throw things away which I have done really well not buying anything new. Um, I've made repurchases. Like I got some more leave-in from African Pride. Um, Y'all know I had repurchased the shampoo and conditioner set and I got the larger 
bottles. So that should hold me for a while. I've replaced my African Pride Edge Styler like multiple times because everybody uses it. Me, Bella, um, and Ariana. But this is what it looks like once I... I feel like I dropped something. I did. Y'all know I'm always dropping something because this counter isn't but so big. But I just re-moisturize, comb through my ends and try to come up as far as I possibly can. I don't, you know, once I do this part, this part really doesn't have to keep being brushed out. It's just the ends where you twist at the end that needs to be redone. And I just put my hair piece on and I try to put it back in the same spot. This time I won't make it super tight because I'm not going anywhere. So anytime you can give your hair a break, please do so. And as you can tell by my hand, this is real buttery, real soft, real creamy product. And I just do my big old jumbo twist the same way I would with my plaits, like just two of them and come as far down as I can. I was putting like a little rub band on the end, but that's not necessary. That's just more strain and pull and tug that you have to do to your hair to try to get it out. But just my little twist, nice and moisturized. And I'm gonna repeat the same process over here. And y'all know I'm really basic and really simple. And the goal is just healthy hair. Like, that's all it is to it. I'm trying to have healthy hair. And I'm trying to have hair that's not easily breaking, um, you know, shedding and all that stuff. Oh, what I just did there, too, is when you do come all the way to the end and you get that little stubborn twist, please use your hand to take it down. That's the easiest thing for you to do. Don't just go straight comb. And I know a lot of people just go straight comb. And sometimes it's not, you know, you're just not thinking. You're just like, let me hurry up and get my hair straight. But please try to do as much of the detangling process as much as possible with your hands. Your hands are your best friend. And my hair is actually really, really soft back here because I just did this the other day. So... Well, not this product, but I actually use, what did I use? I can't even remember. What did I use? Oh, no, I had refreshed my top. I don't think I put anything on the bottom. I don't think I did. But the products that have been in rotation to refresh my hair has been, of course, Grease, Blue Magic Grease. And I have been using... um the Camille Rose styling lotion or cream, the little pump bottle. I've been wearing that out. And it's saddened me because I'm near the end. And y'all know Camille Rose is expensive. So I'm just like, oh, I want to have to repurchase. But it's kind of like now or never. But this product here, let me show you I got enough water on my hair, seems to be really really similar it's just not in a pump bottle it's a little thicker so y'all know i'm gonna use up what i got and like i said i think this cream was white <laughs> it just oh and let's just pray it don't do anything to my hair but if anything does occur we can come back to and report this video and i'm gonna say y'all check the dates on your stuff because some stuff is fire and it's actually damaging or detrimental to your health and your hair. And then some stuff is just has a date on it because it's supposed to have a date on it. But you know, Camille Rose Naturals, these collections um, of products, they are with natural products. So some things are going to brown. And I hate when stuff gets on my hand. Like really bad. Get a little moisture right there, get in between here. Okay, tell me in the comments, I wanna hear from y'all. What is your current hairstyle? What are you rocking? What is keeping you in the semi-pleasant day months? Cause I know people have seasons where they do different things like braids and stuff. So comment and let me know. That looks good. 
nice and moisturized. Get rid of my little fluffies. And then coming in ultimately with this, my baby, my ride or die. That's the wide tooth comb. All right, so let me just place this down. I feel like my hair doing faces are ugly. Like, cause you kind of get in the mode of doing. <laughs> so it's like your tongue's out, <laughs> you're looking weird. <laughs> okay, so. <sighs> I thank God I'm also in a really good place mentally, y'all. If y'all been following me on my health um, page and this page, I just thank God for growth and maturity and wisdom and guidance because God has been good and he has been faithful and he is a keeper. Let me just transfer that elsewhere. So this is my hair close up, you know, nice and soft. And I didn't do my twist hard at all. Left them nice and loose. Because I also got like a real... Let me tell y'all. So at first, I started by not like showing the back of my head because I'm like, I don't know if my splits and stuff is straight. And a lot of people who do that, it's like they seem to be experts. And I'm like, oh, that's not me. I know it's not me. But hold on. Oh man, it does smell kind of indifferent. Everything has a date, right? What happens when you don't see one? It just doesn't, the smell isn't as bold as I remember. It's like a sweet almond vanilla-ish scent. And I don't smell it no more. And of course the ingredients, water, BT, MS, almond milk, almond oil, pumpkin seed, sesame seed oil, jojoba oil, rice, macadamia nut seed oil. Hmm. We just pray. <laughs> but what was I saying? Um. Yeah, the back of my head, right? So, me and my daughter have, like, a loose, meaty head, like, right here in the middle. And if we pull too tight, you will see it. And it's like, now, I know for a fact, as far as my daughter, um, I never super-duper pulled and tugged at her hair. Other people didn't either. So, this isn't a cause thing. This is a thing that we just have. And it's kind of frustrating because when we do hairstyles like this, we definitely got to make sure this part right here isn't pulled too tight. But, you know, you also want it to look neat. And that's the hard part. So, me personally, i just been chilling, like, whatever. And she has slowly become that, okay, whatever person too. But, you know, when you get certain hairstyles, you want to be able to see those tight splits and stuff. And this, that, and third. And I just be like, ooh. Especially when you got a little lint to your hair. But God said not so. So, me just... Putting it on one time and wrapping it like that's enough and y'all see this is really loose but and sometimes i tighten it because like i said my hairstyle is actually i twist these and i take them from side to side but since i'm not going anywhere i'll just let them be down for today all right let me not talk your head off i thought i just told y'all my little intimate embarrassing thing i love you guys god bless take care bye